Hey everybody, Chris the Old Ass Retro Gamer here, and I'm going to tell you that it is a great time to be a Mortal Kombat fan. You're goddamn right. Mortal Kombat 11 was just recently released for the current gen consoles. News came out that James Wan is going to be producing a reboot of the Mortal Kombat film franchise, and Arcade 1UP released a Mortal Kombat coin-op that you can pick up at Walmart. So me being the huge Mortal Kombat fan that you all know I am, of course I ran out and picked up one of those arcade one-ups. So this company, Arcade 1UP, has been releasing these miniature arcade cabinets that have bunches of games built into them. There was one that was all about Street Fighter 2. It had about three or four different versions of the game on one machine. There was one that was all old school games that required a trackball, like Crystal Castles, Missile Command, and Centipede. There's one that's all about Pac-Man. There's one that's all about Space Invaders. There's also one that has a whole bunch of Capcom arcade classics on it, like Final Fight and Strider. And there's a couple that I wouldn't mind having, but if there was one I was ever going to buy it was going to be this Mortal Kombat arcade cabinet, which has not only the original Mortal Kombat built into it, but also Mortal Kombat 2, my favorite fighting game of all time, and Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3. I knew it was going to be coming out sometime in May, didn't know exactly when. But in mid-April, I started seeing pictures of them showing up on Instagram at Walmarts and all that, like stacked up, pallets high. So I started going to all the Walmarts in my area trying to find one. None to be found. So every day, I would go onto the Walmart website, put in my zip code, and try to find a Walmart within my area that at least had one in stock. After about three weeks of searching, randomly when I was at work, I was like, oh yeah, I should probably check Walmart today. And two of them were in stock at a store that I did not want to go to. I'll give you the, the quick version of it. Every time I'm there, I see someone get into a fight. But they were the only one in my area that had these in stock, so I ran over there, picked it up without issue. The clerk was actually really, really excited that I was buying it. He didn't realize that people were actually interested in this sort of thing. Brought it home, carried it up my stairs. It took almost two hours for me to put it together. Once I had it set up and plugged in, I turned this beast on and got ready to play a little bit of Mortal Kombat. And man, did I ever. So as you can see, this thing is not very big. It looks bigger in the pictures that I keep seeing online, but in reality, it's maybe four feet tall and not even two feet wide, which is nice because if you're like me and you don't have a lot of space in wherever you're going to place this machine, it doesn't take up a whole lot of space. It has an on-off switch in the front. You don't need to boot anything down or turn something off. You just flick it on and off at your leisure. It also has a volume control switch, which allows you to turn the volume off completely, playing at a low volume and a high volume. For the most part, I play play it with the low volume, especially when I'm playing at night, I don't want to wake my neighbors up, but when I have friends over and we really want to get into the experience, yeah, I'll turn it up to high because the sounds of the hits and everything are so thunderous, you want to feel it echoing, you want to feel the floorboards rattling. It has one single speaker on the right side of the control panel, it has a very nice LCD screen built into it, great colors, it has the control set up from Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3 with the run button and everything. The arcade sticks are very comfortable, clicky, really great response time it feels like I'm playing a genuine arcade machine at times and there's also a player one and player two button to click one player or two players and if you are playing one player but want to play on the right side of the machine all you have to do is hit the player two button and it automatically selects you as the second player it comes with a plastic overlay that goes over the control panel to protect the artwork from rubbing off from your hands moving around on top of them all the time I know that the original arcade one-ups that came out in the first wave of games like with the Street Fighters and all that did not come with those and people were complaining that they were wearing the artwork off of the control panel so I know there's ones you can buy separately now to put on top of those older wave one machines but this one came with it off the bat in the packaging great. It has a marquee that says Mortal Kombat 2. You don't have a choice of 1, 2, or 3. It's always going to be Mortal Kombat 2, but that's okay because that is the most popular game out of all the ones on this machine. The side art is just like the Mortal Kombat 2 arcade cabinets were with that big awesome picture of Raiden on the side. On the bottom of the machine underneath the control panel is a display that has the logos for Mortal Kombat 1, 2, and Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3 on it. So as you can see here at the opening screen, you get your arcade 1UP logo and it immediately goes into the selection screen where you get to pick which which game you want to play. You select which game you want by pressing the high punch button on the player one side of the machine and then to get the game started you hit the player one button. 
So let's take a look at the original Mortal Kombat and see how it plays on this arcade one-up machine. Back in the day, the original arcade cabinets were using CRT TVs, so the image was not that clear. But since this is an LCD monitor that you're playing it on, it looks fantastic. It's like playing an HD version of the game, and it looks really, really nice. Sound is exactly as I remember from the arcade. It sounds fantastic. All the sound effects, the music, everything. The controls are super responsive, although the first Mortal Kombat is basically just a button mashing game and, you know, know when your player is going to go high and attack low, get those uppercuts in and the special moves if you can. Fatalities, all the ones that I've tried that I remember off the bat work perfectly fine. Haven't seen Reptile pop up yet though, that's still something I'm hoping is in there somewhere. So now let's take a look at my favorite game in this group, Mortal Kombat 2. The attract screen that tells you the story behind the second game, I love the music that plays there, especially when you see the real quick cuts of fights happening with gameplay. Just like in the arcade, all those characters are available at the start. There's no hidden ones in this one, not ones that you can unlock, but ones that you can fight against. The control is absolutely fantastic. All the combos that I came up with when I was playing it in the arcade and the ones that I learned from other people still work. Scorpion's combos, Sub-Zero's combos, Liu Kang's, and thanks to that controller working as well as it does, it's easy to pull off. All the fatalities, environmentals, friendships, babalities, all that works. And of course, the sound is great. There's the reason why I consider this my favorite fighting game of all time. I play this one the most out of any of them, obviously. So now let's take a look at Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3. I've been playing this one a lot more than I did back in the arcade now that I have an arcade perfect version at home, which is awesome. All the characters that are available from the start, like if you were to boot up the machine cleanly in the morning, like when the arcade would open, I don't think that the unlockable characters would stay available if someone had unlocked them the day before if you had turned the machine off. The run button works just as you expect, something that I'm not really a big fan of, and that's probably why I played Mortal Kombat 3 the least out of all. Of them. The combos I remember from back in the day still work. Sub-Zero has the easiest combo to pull off. I remember that without even having to look anything up. The fatalities are another matter. Animalities, fatalities, babalities, all of that's in there. And yes, those Mortal Kombat codes that you can type in by hitting all the different buttons on the control panel, they all work and I have unlocked all of those three extra characters through that as well. As you can see here when I unlocked Ermac. So what are the pros and cons of the Mortal Kombat Arcade 1-Up Machine? Let's get to the pros first. Okay, so obviously the games are fantastic. There's a reason why people have been going crazy trying to get these just like I was from the Walmarts in their areas. I think that Arcade 1-Up were onto something when they figured Mortal Kombat would be the biggest selling one that they have. I mean, more people want that than Street Fighter, which kind of shocked me at first. I don't remember reading about people going out in droves trying to find a Street Fighter cabinet at their local Walmart. Like I said, the screen is fantastic. Crisp, clean, it's like a high def version of these arcade games. The games are arcade perfect. I have not noticed any differences in the sound, the music, the graphics, the gameplay, anything. The controls are extremely well done. The controllers are very high quality and the buttons are not mushy and they click and feel just like an arcade machine. Not having this be a full size arcade machine, I don't have to stand around and play this thing for hours on end. I actually just pull up one of my dining room chairs and I just sit in front of it and play. And it's actually really, really nice. And a fun way to play. I'm on my feet all day at work. You think I really want to do that at home too? No. I like the fact that there is a volume control and the fact that I don't have to worry about shutting the machine down before I can actually turn it off. Something pisses me off in the game, like someone beats my ass a couple times, I just turn it off and I just walk away from it. It's really, really nice and just flick it back on when I want to try it again. The ability to do a soft reboot of the game by holding down the player two button for about five seconds. And if you want to reboot the entire thing and go back to the title screen so you can pick a different game, you hold down the player one button for five seconds. But the best part is, I get to play arcade perfect versions of the Mortal Kombat trilogy in my own living room. And I did not have to spend thousands of dollars to buy the authentic arcade cabinet, which only has just one game in it. So let's get to the cons now. I like the controls, I do. But the size of the machine is also kind of a hindrance because if you're gonna be playing this two player, the area where the controls are are so mashed together that you're gonna be rubbing up against somebody completely. 
And player one is so far off to the left that my hand kind of half hangs off of the side of the arcade cabinet. Not really comfortable, which is why I always end up playing as player two instead, because at least my hand can rest in the middle of the control panel. And because of the way they're positioned, every once in a while a move does not work properly. I'll be trying to do a back sweep and I'll try to hit back and hit the low kick button. And sometimes it's like pressing down also because of the angle it's at. It's really strange. So like I mentioned earlier, the arcade cabinets used CRTs for the monitors and they are four by three dimension wise. Well, the monitor that's built into this arcade one-up machine is a perfect square. So there are some times where you can notice that the image is crushed inward a little bit. When you see the Mortal Kombat logo pop up during the attract mode in Mortal Kombat 2, you can tell it's not a perfect circle. It's actually a little bit of an oval. When Mortal Kombat 2, the title pops up on the screen, the trademark logo that's on the side is actually partially cut off by the side of the monitor. And then when I'm playing the games, especially Mortal Kombat 2, you notice the characters look a little bit skinnier than they're supposed to because the image has been crushed a little bit. I don't know why they couldn't get a four by three monitor. It just doesn't make any sense. Also, it does not save your high scores. Back in the 90s, you could put your initials into a game to brag to everybody that you had the top score or you came in fifth or whatever in whatever game you were playing. Some of these Mortal Kombat games actually used scores, so it does not save them if you do get a top score. If you enter your initials, it does not save them. Once you turn the machine off, it's gone, it's wiped, it's disappears from existence never happened which is kind of disappointing it would be nice if there was a small amount of memory cache set aside for things like that when it comes to ultimate mortal kombat 3 it does not save that you have unlocked all those three characters with those mortal kombat codes after you've turned the machine off if you've entered those codes and unlocked all three of the characters you know classic sub-zero ermac and melina the moment you turn that machine off they're gone. You have to do it all over again every single time. And that's a little bit time consuming if you have people coming over and you want to be able to play these characters. It's going to take about 10-15 minutes. I remember that there was an Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3 at a Pizza Hut that was right by my house that once those characters got unlocked, they were unlocked permanently. You didn't have to do it every single day. It would have been super nice if I could have just done it once and that was it. Didn't have to worry about it again, but no. Then the biggest complaint that I have for this arcade 1-Up machine is when you boot it up why isn't there an options screen? I would have loved to have been able to adjust the difficulty because Mortal Kombat 1 ramps up really evenly on this machine. Mortal Kombat 2, on the other hand, by the time you get to the third character, it's mapping every single one of your moves. You can never jump at the character. You can never use a projectile. It blocks everything, and every time you try to give someone an uppercut, it throws you. But why isn't there a way to adjust the difficulty on this thing? That would have been so much better. Because sometimes I just want to sit there and play a casual game of Mortal Kombat. I don't want to have to sit there and get super competitive against the computer every single time. I just want to be able to play some Mortal Kombat and not get super frustrated when I get to the third fighter. That would have been really, really nice arcade one-up people. Maybe there's going to be a patch? I hope. But then again, the price point that these things are at, you know, I understand there can't fit everything you're ever going to want into it. So I understand, but would have been nice to have the option. So with all these complaints that I have, I still really enjoy this thing. I mean, I play it every single day. I'm pretty sure my next door neighbors know that I have this thing in my house because the day that I bought it, I had all the windows open in my apartment and I had the volume up all the way. And I was playing this thing for hours on end. And I know they heard it through their windows when they're out on their porch because I heard one of them say, finish him out loud at one point, which was pretty amusing to me. So what is my rating for the Mortal Kombat Arcade 1-Up Machine? I'm gonna give it a four out of five. It gets high marks because the Mortal Kombat games that are on this machine are arcade perfect. Nostalgia heebie-jeebies, I got goosebumps more than once. Controller movements and fatalities just kept popping into my head. I haven't played some of these games in a long time and these move sets are still etched into my brain. That says something about how much I love Mortal Kombat. But, like I said, there are some problems with it. It is not perfect. I wish there was a memory port. I wish there was ways that I can change certain aspects. Technically not arcade perfect if you're cutting off information on the screen. It's like reverse letterboxing the games. Because of the size of it, playing two players might be a bit of an issue. But single player, I am having a complete blast with this thing. I absolutely love it. I'm so glad that I found one and picked it up. Like I said, I play it almost every day. My love for Mortal Kombat now shows when somebody walks into my apartment and goes, Oh yeah, uh-huh. I guess you like Mortal Kombat. So if you're a Mortal Kombat fan and the arcade versions are something that really appeals to you and you have about $300 laying around, I highly recommend you pick one up. There are a few things that are a bit disappointing about it, but when push comes to shove, this thing is absolutely brilliant. So are you a huge Mortal Kombat fan and do you have plans to pick up one of these arcade one-up machines? Let me know. If you have already bought one, 
Let me know your thoughts on it. Do you have the same complaints I have? Am I overreacting? Am I nitpicking? Or do I have a legit complaint here? Let me know in the comments. I want to hear from you. This Mortal Kombat machine is the second wave of these arcade one-ups. So I'm assuming there might be more in the future. What arcade games from the 80s and 90s would you like to see built into one of these things? I've got a few. I might make a Top 3 Tuesday video out of it. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed yourself. And until next time, I'm Chris the Old Ass Retro Gamer signing off.